Oh, it's just a gloomy, gloomy day out here today. Guys, check out this air data. 100% chance of rain. <laughs> Good day to fly a drone. I don't even know if this test is gonna work because we're flying Rose today, our DJI Mini 2, and she doesn't always do what I want her to do today, if that makes any sense. The last time we flew Rose, we were in West Virginia, try to say that five times fast. Well, we had a little problem where she was flying straight and then all of a sudden she started veering to the right. I think she was veering to the right that time. Well, you know, normally whenever I have this problem, which I have this problem with the Mini 2s a lot, I do an IMU calibration and that always seems to fix the problem. Well, this time it didn't really work. Well, we got a comment from one of you loyal viewers out there with an idea to try to fix this problem. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take Rose out. We're gonna give her a short little test. Hopefully she duplicates the veering to the right or to the left and then we can implement this solution. That's weird, I thought I just heard a rooster. <laughs> anyway guys, my only problem today is I've gotta beat this rain because it's definitely coming. Have I mentioned lately that my favorite part of our channel is when we get viewer comments with solutions to problems? <laughs> You guys are great. Well, I couldn't do it without you. <laughs> one good thing about today, even with this rain coming, is we don't have any wind. But we're pulling up to one of my favorite spots to fly here, and it looks like there is nobody here. We're alone again. We're here. What's that vibrating? Well, guys, we're here at this bird sanctuary where there's all kinds of birds. Imagine that. But that thing right there, I don't know if I'm pointing right at it. Anyway, I'm whatever. Anyway, that big white bird, it could take down a drone. Let's try to avoid her or him. Rose is pretty good at stirring up birds. Well, let me go get Rose. I'm gonna get her uh, set up on the back of the truck here and we're gonna get this test started. Actually, I'm not gonna get her set up on the truck yet. We've gotta get her inside the truck and get her started. Duh. All right, that looks good to me. And here's Rose's home. That's Rose. Well, let's get Rose out because she's the focus of today's test. Okay, we need Rose. We need a battery. We need her controller, and we need Pete. Pete, where you at, buddy? I gotta find you. I got all this crap in, oh, there you are. Man, you're hiding down there. What were you hibernating? You guys remember Pete? <laughs> okay, let's get this all set up here. Look how easy Pete is to get on the controller. Just like that, you got an angle bracket for your phone. Labels up, just like that. Let's go do this. You guys remember that video where I fell? I think I really did hurt my wrist. Anyway, let's get Rose unfolded here. I'll get the phone connected to the controller. Get this going. I know that the air data said that it's 53 degrees outside, but it's still pretty cold to me. Man, I'm weak. <laughs> I keep getting reminders on my phones about doctor's appointments. Is that what happens when you get old? <laughs> All right, well, let me get Rose started here. Oh, let me actually go to the comment that I wanted to read you guys and tell you what but the idea was for this whole video. So I got a comment from ACS4555 the other day. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but it's I think it's pronounced ACS4555. He says, hi Kevin, since Rose neatly keeps the cross in the middle after you have drawn a square at the dam, I think your controller is suffering from stick shift. Maybe nice for a next video to calibrate this. I wish you the very, a very healthy and happy new year. Well, I appreciate that and thanks for the tip. Anyway, he sent a follow up because I didn't know how to do that. I said, how do you do that? And he replied back. He said, hi, Kevin, go to the three dots to the top right, then then to control and then to RC calibration. You have to turn the sticks and move the wheels. After that, it should be solved. Let's give it a try. Well, let's get Rose up and going. I think that I'm always being told that I got to do the controller first and then the drone. And that way things should be done correctly because, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> But I get a lot of advice and it's definitely welcome because you guys are right, I don't know what I'm doing. Let me go to drone stuff here and open up the DJI Fly app. Okay, so we're here at our spot. The drone is on. Check out our gimbal, it actually looks pretty good, right? Well, I don't know if it's the gimbal that's causing these problems or if it's the sticks or if it's the IMU, but we're gonna start with the stick calibration and we're gonna try to get this fixed. So let me hit go fly. We have zero satellites. Let me get Rose out onto the back of the truck. We're gonna do a little test flight to see or to make sure that she's gonna do this veering thing. Because if she doesn't do the veering thing, then what's the point of this video? Okay, Rose, I know I don't ask you to do this very often, but will you please screw up today? <laughs> Thank you. Ugh. All right, so we still have zero satellites. She's been out there for, oh, well, yeah, still zero satellites. Oh, eight satellites. 
It's turning orange. Now, I want you to watch this. When she hits 10 satellites, normally is when she, well, she updated the home point with nine satellites that time. What is, what's normal here? With her, it's nine. With Dwight, it's 15. Doesn't make sense, does it? Oh, well. All right, well, we got 19 satellites, so I think we're actually good to, to take off. Well, I'm going to turn her volume up a little bit. Where's the volume? Yeah, I want to turn the volume up here a little bit so we can hear what she says. That's Martha. If you guys haven't met Martha, Martha's the one that tells you when the home point's been updated. Just glad that I could introduce you guys. Okie dokie. Well, let's get Rose started and up in the air. We'll get the sticks pushed, uh, pushed together and we'll get her up. Raise up there, Rose. Looks like she's, uh, she's hovering okay. I know that um, we're kind of in a spot where one time she had a bad experience where she crashed into the side of the truck. I think she hit some interference, but we're not going to tell her that. She's out there. She can't hear us. It looks like she's doing okay, though, so let me fly to the left and to the right, make sure that she's responding to the controls of the controller, at least. Looks like she's doing okay, so let's get her up in the air here. We'll go maybe 50 feet or so. We're just going to fly straight out. I want you guys to, I need to, actually, whoops, I need to make sure that the brightness of the screen, whoops. <laughs> I need to get the brightness of the screen fixed because what is going on here? Oh well. It looks like my screen's a little bit dark, but I don't think it is. All right, well, we got her up in the air. I'm going to pull the gimbal down so we can see that crosshair right there, right in the corner of that field or in that corner of that trail there. So we'll go up a little bit more, maybe six, all right, 68 feet. So all we got to do is we need to move straight forward, and I'm going to push the, the uh, right stick straight forward, and we're going to see if she veers to the right or to the left. So she's going straight forward right now, and it looks to me like she's veering to the left a little bit. Oh, yeah. She's definitely not flying straight. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Normally, when I, when I have this problem, I start, start out with an IMU calibration, and it immediately fixes it. But you guys can tell that she's slightly going to the left there. Last time, she was going to the right, so I'm not sure what's changed here. All right, well, let's get her home. Let's do this. Let's do a return to home test and see how close she gets to the home spot. We never do that, do we? <laughs> let's get this done. She's going to do, whoops, what did I do there? Oh, I hit the camera button. That's odd. I've never done that before. That's a new one. All right, so she turned about, I don't know, 90 degrees again, and now she's going to start flying towards us, hopefully, once she gets to her height. But I got to spin her so she's facing the truck. And I think that's about it right there. See, right now, let's see if she look, looks like she's flying straight. It looks to me like she's flying straight. But then again, you, you can never tell. All right, I'm going to pull the gimbal down, and I'm going to get the GoPro outside. And we're going to watch her land, because she's going to do this gimbal shake that she always does. But, you know, we've come to expect that, and I'm not really too concerned about that. But anyway, we're going to see how close she is to the home point, and the gimbal shook. But whenever she was flying back, it looked to me like she was flying straight. So she's right above us right now. Martha just told us that she's starting her landing process. So she's off the truck right now. So right, I'm going to keep my thumb on this uh, return to home button so I can stop her because it doesn't look like she's even close to the, uh, doesn't even look like she's close to the landing pad. I don't think she's going to land there. If she does, she's going to land in the dirt. All right, let's get the GoPro up on Rose so we can see how she's doing and see how far off she actually is. Wow, she's really far off. I could get her to land in the dirt there if I wanted to, <laughs> but she's at least five or six, maybe eight feet off. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop her, I think. And then we're gonna do a stick calibration and we're gonna try to get her fixed. I'm gonna land her myself, so this might not go well. <laughs> it never really does, does it? Whoops, wrong way. Go to the right, there you go. Hey, look at that, she landed all the way on the pad. And I did that manually. All right, so we gotta get Rose turned back around so she's facing forwards, because I always get confused that way. And now we're gonna go back into the truck and we're gonna do a stick calibration. I watched a couple of videos on how to do this stick calibration and there was two schools of thought. One school of thought was you had to have the drone turned off. Well, the other school of thought was you leave the drone on. So I'm gonna leave Rose on because turning her off and on is a big process. So what did he say to do? <laughs> Let me pull the comment back up so I can figure out how to do this. So what did he say? He says, go to the three dots, boom, then go to the control tab, boom, and then to RC calibration. Where's it at? Uh, gimbal calibration, remote controller, stick mode, button customization, RC calibration. Guys, I found it. It's right there. Power off aircraft to calibration. <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess that's our answer. That's funny because I swear there was a video that didn't have the drone on. Anyway, let me go get Rose turned off. All right, Rose, I hate to do this, but I got to shut you down for a second. You'll be welcome back up here shortly. I know it didn't seem like you had much uh, air time, but we're going to fix you and we're going to get you tested. She's really not mad at me. She understands. Oh, look, the birds are the birds are taking off. Oh, I think they're fighting, actually. <laughs> There's a turf war going on. All right, now that we got Rose shut down, I'm going to hit the RC calibration again. Ensure the control sticks are centered before pressing start. So the control sticks are centered. I'm going to hit start. And I guess I just need to follow the prompts. Left, can push the control sticks and rotate the dials or the dial to their maximum range several times in all directions. So I'm going to start with my left stick. I'm just going to push up. I guess whenever I... Uh, I guess whenever it's done, I'll, I'll see a green line, right? There we go. All right, so that one's at 100%. That's at 100%, 100%, 100%. 100%. We'll go to the right stick. And I'm just, all I'm doing is I'm pushing these sticks up and down sideways. All right, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. And I'm going to move these dials that are on the back, back and forth. That's green. Calibration successful. See, I'm so used to doing these mini killer videos that there's always uh, dials on both sides and the gimbal's on the right side on those. Okay, so it looks like we're done. Let me connect to the aircraft. I'm going to go back to the main screen here. I'm going to go get Rose turned back on. Guys, I do believe that we're going to beat this rain. I may have spoken too soon because that's usually what I do, but we're almost finished with this test. All right, we got Rose turned back on. Oh, home point's been updated. I just heard it. 26 satellites. All right, guys, well, I think we're good to go. Let's get Rose started and get her up in the air, and then we're going to see if this uh, fixed the problem. So I'm just I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. She said the home point's been updated again. That's all good. Thanks, Martha. I'm just going to let her set there, and we'll do our left and right, forward and backwards test and make sure that she's responding to our controls, which she is. Man, she looks solid up in the air or right there, doesn't she? We just had a little bit of a wind gust. All right, so let's get her up 60 feet. And we're going to get that crosshair back to where it was before so we can follow it and make sure that she's not moving again. So I need to point to the left a little bit and come down so we can see the crosshair in the grass or on the trail. Well, we're in the trees. <laughs> All right, so let's just uh, go forward and see what happens. All right, so far so good. It looks like she's pretty solid there. It kind of looks like she might have moved to the little bit to the right there, but she straightened out fast so I kind of think that that might have fixed the problem guys at least for now I bet you that next time I turn her on that we'll uh, we'll have the same problem let me raise her up a little bit because there is kind of a low tree or a high tree there 64 feet let me go up to 70 feet there we go looks like she's flying straight doesn't it dang gum I think uh, ACS 4555 ACS 4555 I think he just solved our problem oh there's a tree Look how, look how high those trees are. I guess I need to raise up a little bit more. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get Rose home, and I guess we're going to have a little conclusion in the truck, and then we're going to call this test a wrap. I just had to interrupt my return to home flight because there's a plane that just showed up here, and uh, it's pretty low. <laughs> I really hate when that happens. All right, let me get Rose home. I'm going to fly her back manually now because I interrupted the return to home flight. All right, where are you, Rose? Let's get your gimbal down here so we can see where you're going to land. That's not too bad. All right, well, slow down. You're going a little bit fast there. Let's get you over to the other side and back, and now we'll get you landed on the pad. There you go. Oh, wrong way. Oh, <laughs> oops. At least we got her back, though, right? All right, guys, well, what do you think? You think we fixed the problem? I think we had a successful flight today and a successful test. All thanks to ACS4555. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate the tip. I appreciate the heads up. You know, I've had these drones, these Mini 2 drones, for at least four years now, and I've never done a stick calibration on either one of them. So I learned something today. Appreciate that. That plane is out there flying really low again. All right, guys, well, that's it. Just remember, if your drone is adrift, there's a fix. You can do the IMU calibration. You can do a compass, or I'm sorry, yeah, you can do a compass calibration, I guess. You could do a gimbal calibration 
And last but not least, this fixed our problem. You can do a stick calibration. Now, if you guys would like to watch a video where we performed an IMU calibration and it actually fixed the problem that day, I want you to wait till after the Bible verse rolls through and click on the video that pops up. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. God bless. Let's get Rose put away. The end.